Hey guys, what's going on? Anna Marie here, also known as Roxy Surf Chick, and I'm playing Call of Duty 4. I think what I need to start doing is preparing for a different type of game. I need to play a lot more Resident Evil and a lot more Left 4 Dead. I've put about four days into Left 4 Dead 1, and I need more hours because apparently the zombie apocalypse is coming. I don't believe in 2012 and that's how the world's gonna end. Even though that is the date that Snooki gives birth, I still don't believe in 2012. To me, that's basically horseshit shit. That's my opinion on it. I could be wrong. That's just me. I don't care. The way I do think the world is going to end, and I'm quite excited for, is the zombie apocalypse. And I wish I was fucking kidding. I've never been more excited for something in my entire life of my 22 years of existence on this earth. I am excited for zombies. You have no idea the excitement I have right now because I haven't been watching a lot of the news. I just got back from states. I will talk all about what happened at states in another commentary. I will We'll probably be recording that tomorrow. This is about the zombie apocalypse and my total excitement for it in the coming days. Well, in the coming months, I guess I should say. Basically, long story short, if you haven't been reading the news, uh, the whole world is going fucking apeshit. I like the excuse that our government is using is bath salts. Everybody is going crazy because they are doing something called bath salts. And I honestly think that this is bullshit. My opinion, my opinion. Bath salts. Making people baths smell fantastic and turning them into rage monsters at the same time due to fabulousness. That is how I picture my shirt being when the whole world ends. I'm going to wear a bath salt t-shirt. I am a frequent user of Tumblr and I ran across a post the other day that said zombie apocalypse coming soon and basically it's listing off by the dates of when each crazy ass thing happened in the past month. I believe this was all happening in May. I'll read them down for you for the people that don't know. I'll actually also link all the articles in the description below in case you want to read it or so if you guys want to read it you guys can to know that I'm not making this up. I do have facts behind me. So basically on May 16th MacArthur High School had a half hazmat situation. Students and teachers were decontaminated after a breakout in rash. On the 19th, there was no confirmation on a chemical at Fort Lauderdale International Airport. The 21st, a man bites a woman in Westchester. And on the 23rd, the I-285 reopens after another hazmat incident. On the 23rd as well, a man bites his cousin's nose off. And to me, that's awkward, but I'll, I'll continue on. And on the 24th, a second Bro Ward school report a mysterious rash. The 25th, hazmat called after kids exposed pesticides on a bus. The 25th as well, a disoriented passenger subdued on a flight in Miami. Now that one's not too, too crazy. On the 26th, a naked man allegedly eating victim's face shot and killed by Miami police. I'll come back to this one. And then also on the 26th, a Florida doctor spits blood at a highway patrolman after a DUI arrest. That's probably just drunk bitches being drunk bitches. All this is in the same week at the same state and god bless you florida i didn't realize you'd be the first to go i would have thought maybe like new york or chicago fuck maybe la going back to the one where a naked man allegedly eats victim's face that's disgusting and i can't even handle thinking about that gross but i watched the video and apparently it was some it was a video of a camera taken from far away it zoomed in a little later but it didn't zoom in when the guy was get eaten so i watched the video i wasn't going to at first because i, I was afraid you know it's gonna show like a lot of detail. I don't want to see this. Oh my god, I just ate. But I was okay. But it's a surveillance video of what was going on down below. And honestly and truthfully, holy crap. Like, the guy is missing his whole whole damn face. Apparently, like, I didn't look at the photos, but there's just like an eye left. And I just, uh, uh, no thank you. No thank you. But they're saying the reason the guy did this was there's two two things going around. One was he was all hopped up on bath salts. That's one of the things that's going around. And then two, it was because of cocaine psychosis. Now I could possibly believe the cocaine, okay, but for 20 minutes, or I apologize, for 18 minutes, it took 18 minutes for the cops to get there. And at 18 minutes, this guy is eating another dude's face underneath a freeway. There's cars in the video, obviously, slowing down and, you know, driving by. Nobody, like, stops him. Like, nobody figures out what the fuck is going on. Stupid. Just stupid. That made me think, because I've been talking to some friends, what the fuck am I going to do? Like, I always joke, you know... I'm gonna do this and this and this when the apocalypse comes and you know that'll it'll be all fun and games okay cool 
I'll still joke about it because it, to me, we, we got some time before all shit goes to hell. That's fine. I get it. I understand. So I, I was thinking, I have one friend that's like, come down to DC and we'll get on a cruise ship and uh, we'll just chill in the harbor. And I'm thinking, fuck no. Fuck no. First of all, you'll be trapped. Like, there, there's no fucking ways around it. You'll be trapped on that damn ship. There's so many crooks and crevices. I thought, you know, corner campers were bad in Call of Duty. I don't want to even imagine zombie corner campers. They'll just wait for you and then rape your face. That's exactly what they'll do because they're assholes. Zombies are assholes and everybody knows this. It's common knowledge. It made me think about what I'm going to do. So I decided to change up my plan. I live in a town here in central Pennsylvania when I'm not in California. But my town here in central Pennsylvania is... It's a smaller town. There's a couple thousand people here. And I say a couple thousand, meaning under 10,000. So it's not too many people to worry about. I have plenty of stores, restaurants, grocery stores, convenience stores, Ace Hardware, um, Walmart and Target are up the road. And I live in right off Market Street. So I live really close to where everything is. So I'll be fine with walking. So I, I'm a good distance from everything. I know that if I need to get around, I was thinking, F motherfucker, I'll build sky bridges. Who the hell is going to stop me? We'll Minecraft this shit up. To get from rooftop to rooftop, little wood, you know, nothing too fancy because, you know, you got to take it away just in case things don't follow you across rooftops. But at the same time, I'm all set. I know we have generators here at my house. We have all kinds of extra food just because my when my mom goes grocery shopping, even though there's two of us, she still buys, like, a food for about 50 people. Don't ask me why. So we will, we'll have tons of food, tons of canned food. We're all set. Um, my house is a little bit off the main road, so there shouldn't be too much to worry. Easy to board up windows. I have a basement, a basement with, with a back entrance, but you can't see it because it's like a storm shelter entrance, so nobody who doesn't know that it's not there, I'll be totally fine. So that is my plan for the coming apocalypse. I want to know what your guys's is, because let's get serious. If there's people eating each other underneath a freeway in broad daylight, shit's about to go down. So I want to make sure you guys all have your shit and gear. You're all set up. And a really nifty tool I'll also link in the description is called Map of the Dead. So basically it's www.mapofthedead.com. And it lets you know, like, what's in your area. If there's an airport, harbor, where's the nearest gun store, grocery store, hardware, shopping mall, pawn shop, outdoor store. Apparently, I'm looking at my map right now. I have an outdoor store I didn't even know about that's right next to me. I also have a couple doctors in my area, a couple gas stations, um, and a church. So, I'm... I'm good to go. I'm good to go in my area. I'm, I'll be okay enough to hold down my area because all around me is a river and farmland. I'm golden. I have a pretty good chance. I want to definitely take my chances and make the most of them. But that's what I'm going to be doing. I was going to go other places, but fuck, it gets cold here in the winter. Winter's a little while away, but you know kill off some zombies so let me know what you guys are doing in the comments below and i can't wait to see what great ideas you guys have in store i will see you guys all later have a fantastic night and i will talk to you later guys night I'll equate my excitement to that of getting a box of kittens because that's basically how that felt. That was awesome. I might actually start trying to get my